Right now, I'm very pleased to introduce Her Excellency, President Doris Lutard of the Swiss Confederation. Well, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the UN uh, Private Sector Forum is always a key opportunity to bring together public and private actors under the leadership of the United Nations and the Secretary General, as well as Al Gore, put it there on the map, what we know already, what we have to do. Huh? But when you are, as a president, I'm sure my colleague from Costa Rica knows, it's not that easy. We can't only rely on statistics or uh, developments or where you have data. We must implement a lot of actions. And that's why I'm not as optimistic as others, because, well, the Paris Agreement and the SDGs are in place, but when, uh, on national level, when you have to introduce uh, adequate measures, we hear a lot also from the private sector, oh, sorry, we are in competition here when you introduce regulation, that's additional cost, we don't like this cost, we must be competitive. When you look for money, well, uh, they, we have others. Switzerland is always a donor. Uh, then our citizens, our politicians tell us, well, uh, perhaps others should now also contribute. And when it comes to CO2 emissions, well, we in Europe point to the US where the emissions per capita are much, much more higher than in Europe. So how we can convince at home our population to uh, invest, to finance, and to uh, uh, put in place adequate regulation. With the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, we have a new global guiding framework and a definition what success must look like in 2030. Sustainable economic prosperity that provides social dividends. It's possible, yes. It's a process and it needs a lot of money. Uh, Madam already pointed out the amount of money where uh, we need you, the private sector. The numbers are well beyond what can be covered by individual states and official development assistance alone. Private finance and business therefore have a crucial role to play and we know the money is here so we have really to redirect financial flows into green and resource efficient investments promising good financial performance and social dividends and we in governments we need the low-hanging fruits we need results where we can convince additional measures and we can also convince our population that's the right way for the future so when it comes to more concrete measures, I uh, uh, would like to tell you in the, in, the, in, the, in the last minutes what we in Switzerland uh, maintain as a catalogue of business opportunities. And I hear a lot of companies are really all already lo looking at these SDGs as a business opportunity. We have a dialogue which started many, many years ago in stimulating private action to align the financial sector with sustainable development. In Switzerland alone, the volume of investment seeking social impact in developing countries is substantial. We estimate that nearly 10 billion US dollars were invested in development in 2015 and managed by companies based in Switzerland. You will hear afterwards from Nestle how they get into business with concrete measures. Today, Geneva is uh, the market leader in sustainable finance. So you need a skilled labor force and technologists, a right architecture to have an influence from conventional finance to moving part of this money to the sustainable finance. The shift is significant and there are a number of keys we can use to unlock this property to ensure that investments with positive social and environmental impacts become a mainstream choice. First, governments should now neglect the importance of the overall governance framework in countries. This includes effective public administration, rule of law, a sound macroeconomic framework, low levels of corruption and easy, transparent business procedures. 
We know all corruption and the rules of law, that's for many countries a long way to go, but it's a key element that you can attract investments and uh, for governments, I think, who go on this way, they need a lot of support on political level. Second, the public sector can support a number of activities that help to reduce the cost of impact investments. For example, through a PPP called the Swiss Capacity Building Facility, we are providing technical assistance grants to financial service providers in developing countries. This contribution reduces the entry costs for those offering financial services to low-income earners, smallhold farmers and small businesses. Very easy but very effective. Third, financial technologies. We should think on, on, on the fintech industry. That's a powerful tool to mobilize and channel private money. A dynamic fintech system has the potential not only to boost the competitiveness of the financial sector, but also to accelerate sustainable development. Here, I think a lot of countries can do more and analyze what the fintech sector, so the combination also of the digital opportunities with the SDGs could offer to the private sector. Fourth, where it makes sense public funds can be used to leverage private funds via guarantees or early stage investment. One of the most successful microfinance funds in Switzerland was launched in 2003 with initial capital of 3.8 million US dollars from the Swiss government. Today, this is a flagship microfinance fund with over $1 billion in private capital invested in the South and in the East. Fifth, more platforms to exchange knowledge and share experience are needed. This dialogue can help identify what works and what doesn't, the best practices, and I think here uh, this is very important. In Switzerland, we have the Swiss Sustainable Finance Association to bring together uh, company examples, the finance sector and the government, the public sector, to discuss together what can be helpful to manage the money in the right direction. Finally, people who rely on financial services want to make a difference. The customer would to be a good customer. They want to know what, that their savings are being invested in green, sustainable products and they do not always have this choice. Pension funds, as well as banks, should enable the customer to make a difference. So, dear colleagues, I think we have a lot of opportunities, but it needs, on the governmental side, uh, re a redirection and offering in this uh, sector uh, 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 possibilities and it needs a close dialogue with the private sector. The SDGs are a call for action. If we really want to take a sustainable path, we need to harness the full innovative power of the economy. Therefore, I'm very grateful that we came together here and that we have a lot of fruitful cooperation. Thank you.